Sony A7R5 is an amazing camera. Though a bit expensive, its pack of features are nonetheless much needed for stills. The newly introduced focus bracketing feature can be very handy when it comes to macro photography. We now can do focus stacking without using a rail. This is what was built in another video, a coaxial lighting cage. It was designed to photograph coins, or small shiny flat objects with even lighting. Here is a half dollar US coin, and let's see how we can photograph it using focus bracketing technique. Before we begin, let's get to know how to use focus bracketing on Sony A7R5. To access focus bracketing, press this button, the left button on the dial wheel, and then select BRK Focus. If you encounter this situation, complaining about picture profile, you can turn off picture profile. You might also encounter this situation, asking to check lens focus mode, your lens might be set at manual focus, MF, just change it to autofocus, AF. While focus bracketing mode is selected, press this button, the right button on the dial wheel, to adjust parameters. For focus step size, the general rule of thumb is if magnification is less than 0.25, set it to 8, if magnification is 0.5 or up, keep it as small as possible, usually 1. For number of images, it depends on subject and need to experiment. For direction, the best option is the default, focusing further forward, starting from closest focus to begin with. Equipment used here are Sony A7R5 camera, of course, Sony's FE 50mm f2.8 macro lens, the so-called lab lifter, used to make rough adjustments, and the 3D printed coaxial cage, built in another video. It is better to use longer focal length lens, which often has longer working distance, we will talk about this later. Automatic extension tube might also needed for smaller coins. These extension tubes have electronic contacts so that camera can communicate with lens. Now, let's take a look at the coin we are going to photograph. If it is not a collector item, spray some alcohol to remove grease and stains on it. But with collector's item, be careful as this process is abrasive and might leave micro scratches on it. Also be aware that dust particles can be seen under macro view, to save tedious work in post, it is necessary to remove them before photographing it. This is an overview of the whole setup. This is an overhang arm. This is the lighting cage. This is the lab lifter for rough adjustments. And this is the LED panel light for the cage. Notice that the overhang arm, which actually is a desktop monitor mount, can swirl around, very convenient. Camera is clamped on the overhang arm, there is no rail nor slider for stacking. This is the most important part of this setup. Before starting focus bracketing, let's talk about working distance that was mentioned before. Here, the lens is touching the edge of the lighting cage, this is because the cage is too tall, and working distance for this lens is too short. This will limit magnification. Fortunately, the coin is large enough, so we do not need high magnification. Getting a lens with long focal length, most likely having long working distance will solve this problem. For focus bracketing, using a remote shutter is very helpful. Now, let's begin. First focus to the nearest point on the coin by adjusting either the lab lifter or turning the focus ring. This is because we have set the direction of bracketing going forward from closest, in focus bracketing setup. Once that is done, press shutter button to start the process. You can stop the process in the middle by pressing shutter button again, or let it finish to the end. After getting all images, it is time to stack them using some software. 
The stacking software here is Xerine Stacker by Xerine Systems, link is in description. So far, the default setting for this software is good enough for coins, very friendly, just drag all the files over and start stacking. Once it is done, you will get a stacked image that appears in focus everywhere. To conclude, focus bracketing on Sony A7R5 combined with 61 megapixel images, it is hard to resist.